Trina. This is just going to be a very rambly video with just thoughts and discussion um, because I wanted to kind of elaborate on a conversation that I was having on Twitter. This is kind of an offshoot of the video that Priscilla from The Readables put up on um, autopilot on booktube and in that video she made a lot of really great points and I feel very similarly that um, most if not all booktube channels kind of put out the same videos. Most of us do haul videos, TBRs, monthly wrap-ups, and she was kind of just calling for more creativity in the community in her video and saying that we don't all have to do the same things. And then my friend Kayla Rain was tweeting on Twitter about how, yes, she definitely feels like she does want to come up with better, different content on her channel, but there's not really anything wrong with doing the same standard videos because what you bring to the video is your thoughts and your personality, and that's the original part of it. And I totally agree with that. I was replying to Kayla on Twitter about my thoughts on the internet and how I really feel like the internet has has killed creativity and I feel like the internet cultivates comparison and feeling like we aren't good enough. So I wanted to just elaborate on my thoughts on that. One of the big reasons why I joined booktube in the first place is because I wanted an outlet to do reading wrap-ups. I was doing a monthly reading wrap-ups before I even watched booktube, before I knew this was a thing that was done. I just did them in a very different format. I did them on a private blog which no longer exists that nobody read. I did them on Goodreads by using shelves. I just really like to organize what books I read in a month and what all my thoughts were, which was my favorite of the month. That's something that makes me happy. When I found out that booktube was a thing and that people post wrap-up videos, that was actually a big incentive for me to join and to want to have a voice here. So I'm not going to stop doing wrap-up videos just because everybody else does them. I love watching people's wrap-up videos. They are totally different from channel to channel, from person to person, because your thoughts and your perception of the book, even though 50 million other people have read the book, your thoughts are what make your wrap-up unique. Same with hauls. Book hauls personally are not my favorite type of video to make or to watch, but we all pick up different types of books for different reasons. I really think that the internet is a place where we are overconnected and we are in this post Pinterest world when Pinterest came out, all of a sudden you realized, I am not doing life right. My house does not look like that. My DIY crafts do not look like that. I can't sell crap on Etsy because I am not that talented. That's what I felt like when Pinterest happened. It is so easy for one person online to post this amazingly original creative thing that they have made and put into the world, but when you post it online, everybody can see it. And 10 people that see what you originally made up are going to see that and think, I want to do that too. And they're going to do it. And then 10 people that follow each of them are going to see it and want to do it too. And they're going to do it. And then it's like everybody is creative, but no one is creative. So I feel like on booktube, even if some booktuber came up with a brand new idea that has never been heard of, never been done on booktube before, and they put it up there, people are going to like it so much that they're going to want to put their own spin on it. This is natural, it's natural to the process of creativity. So personally, I feel like the internet has kind of squashed creativity. You can't be creative anymore because I feel like everything that we create kind of looks like things that other people create. But we have our own unique spin on it, whatever that may be, and that's not a bad thing. If you're happy with what you're putting out, that's all that really matters because with so many ideas constantly flowing online, it really is difficult to create and maintain originality. So even if we all do push for making brand new original videos, I think pretty soon the cycle is just going to repeat and we're all going to kind of be doing similar things again, even if it's titled something else. What I really hate about this internet culture is that it breeds comparison. I have had this conversation kind of going in the comments of my um, wrap up, my November wrap up most recently. When I post my wrap ups, I always get comments that say, I really like the style that you film this in. It makes me want to do mine better or do mine differently. This is what I don't like about the internet is that we see something that somebody does and our first thought is to compare ourselves to that and to think I need to change. I need to do better. I need to 
whatever I'm doing is not good enough. I don't think that that is true. You are good enough. You don't have to change. If you see something wonderful that somebody else has done, it doesn't mean you aren't good enough. It doesn't mean you don't bring something to the table. The reason why I watch any channel that I do watch is for that person and for your thoughts and your opinions. I don't have a real point or an ending message or advice to end on or anything like that. I just wanted to expand on my thoughts on creativity on the internet because it's something that has bothered me for years. It is very easy to compare ourselves to what other people are doing and to want to be original, but it's also very hard. I don't think there's like a simple way to fix this. I don't think that anyone needs to feel like they're not good enough if you're happy and confident in what you are creating. As a content creator, I just kind of wanted to get my thoughts out there. Let me know what you guys think on this topic down below. If you agree or disagree with me, that's fine. That's why we are original. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the comments. Bye!